Gardner from RV Travel Buddy. Today is my little cooking show, which I've never done one before. And this is a, a recipe that was told to me by a friend of mine named Lana at the place I work. And to make this, we're going to uh, use English muffins. Um, and I'm going to toast them and then bake them. And this is going to have shrimp on it. And we're going to put some cheese on it. And we're going to put mayonnaise and a touch of butter. So the first thing I'm going to be doing is uh, toasting my English muffins. So we finished toasting our uh, English muffins. And I was also told that these don't have to be toasted if you don't want to. And the next thing I'm going to do is apply uh, butter to these. And Lana didn't tell me to put butter on them, but we decided we want to put a little bit of butter on these. So and do make sure you wash your hands before you do all this. And while we're doing this, we also uh, preheated our oven to 350 degrees because we're in a trailer. So uh, our ovens don't burn quite as hot as a regular oven. And so we got a little butter on these. Then the next thing we're going to do is put a little mayonnaise on these. And spread that around. And yes, I have never made these before, so this is new for me. And I was also told that this tastes really good with tuna fish or crab. And in our case, we couldn't find any good Dungeness crab because in Washington, we only use Dungeness crab. So we're going to use shrimp. So we got the all spread out nicely. And I was told to put the shrimp on first. And then after that, we're going to put a mixed cheese Top of these, and then we're gonna bake them till just like a pizza until the pizza uh, the cheese is nicely uh, melted. And just about there, it's this little baby shrimp. A little bit more. Last but not least, we're going to put the mixed cheese on here, which got mozzarella and cheddar cheese in it. And I was also told that salt and pepper is appropriate, but I think with the shrimp being salty, we're going to go with without the salt and pepper on this batch, but salt and pepper can be used. Alrighty, so these are ready to be uh, put into the oven, and then uh, we'll uh, let you take a look at them. Now we have everything prepared. We're going to put this in the oven at 350 degrees. When the cheese is melted, we'll pull it out and let you take a look, and we'll taste it. Okay, it's been about 10 minutes. They're ready to be pulled out, so here we go. I shut my oven off already. Those look pretty good. And we're gonna set them right here. And I'm gonna dish them up right here and we're gonna try them out. So we're ready to try out our uh, English muffin surprise here. We got ourselves two nice glasses of wine. This is my wife, Sherry. And this is our taste test. So here we go. Alrighty then. Here comes the first taste. I think I need a knife. Smells good. Here we go.
So what do you think? Pretty good. Pretty good? Pretty good. Well, Lana, you're successful. It tastes pretty good. And you get a chance, once again, to uh, use English muffins. You can use tuna. You can use crab. And we use shrimp. And uh, pretty simple to make. Makes a great little snack. And for me and Sherry, a toast to a successful yummy.